what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today i finally got a chance to actually do my sons of anarchy reactions hells yeah <laughs> all right so i'm gonna be doing two today i'm gonna do two the other two for the week another time but let's jump in season two episode nine and ten today obviously you know the way how things were left off with Gemma getting really mad <laughs> you know at every of all the arguing that's going on between in the club um so i'm wondering if she's going to reveal what happened to her of course man i want to see if she does because that would be great you know that would be awesome if she did that man it would be good for them you know because I think it would take the focus off the infighting, as I said before, and onto a common goal, which is Zobel. So, um, as I look up, look for my subs here. Um, so, it's great, man. It's always good to see, um, you know, it's always good to see how this series progresses. Because not only because I'm enjoying it, but because the story is so well written. So you don't really know what's going to happen. You're rooting for the club. You want to see them succeed. Um, you know, and right now they're taking major L's because of Zobel. He's connected, you know, and now this guy, you know, they've joined forces. Clay has given him the knife as a show of good faith. Um, so he's going to run against um Hale's brother right um you know they're already interrupting things you know what I mean they're already interrupting some things so that's good um so I'm looking forward to it man I really am so but anyways with no further ado we're gonna jump in and I will see you guys for the review Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Yes, review episodes 9 and 10, man. Great episodes, even had me shedding a tear there at the last um, scene there. Excellent, excellent stuff that is going on right now. I really thought that Jax was going to leave and that's where the series is going. But I'm happy because I was saying to myself, there's no way they're going to let, you know, something like that happen. But it could still work. You know what I'm saying? It could still work. So I'm not, I'm not saying that they couldn't have worked around that happening or going to that path. They really do let me believe that Jax was going to leave because I was like, nobody objecting. But damn. And as I said... You know, as I said, I think it was the last reaction I did on um, ones that I put out on Saturday where I was talking about Gemma needs to tell him. It's the only way to stop all of this infighting and to have a singular focus and more of a controlled focus where I think now they're going to realize. But if they go off the handle, I still won't blame them. But that's the reason why Gemma told Unser to be ready to protect them because once I tell them this news... You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to be hang angry. But there's still going to be that underlying problem of OP not knowing about that reason. Now, I'm not saying that there's no reason for him to know. He still needs to know that they were responsible. But it, is, it, is it in his best interest to know? Not really. You get what I'm saying? Um, It's probably going to make him sp sp spin out even more so if they keep that secret i think now is the time for jackson clay to really sit down and say listen let's level with each other i made a mistake you making mistakes we both made mistakes let's just move on from this and try to keep op safe we're trying to let him live a, a comfortable life he's happy right now with his porn star girlfriend or whatever and she's doing good with the kids whatever the situation is he's happy now 
let's not mess that up. But things do need to change. I need to hear Clay acknowledge that things need to change among us. We need to be more careful. We need to study these. It's not the same old, same old. Things are new. Things are different. And Jax is trying to show him that, that we got to start doing things differently. If else, we're all going to end up in jail, either in jail or dead. Simple, plain, straight to the point, right? So the situation that's going on with Tara at the hospital with um with her administrator or whatever she's she's stupid because first of all i'm if i'm tara i'm gonna look at her and be like so what you gonna lie because you don't have no proof that the dude was lying if i go to the hospital I'm, I'm not in pain and i tell you i'm in pain you need to believe that i'm in pain you get what i'm saying you need to believe that i'm in pain until i tell you otherwise until i prove to you otherwise until you can prove otherwise now you can't look at somebody and say oh he's not that smart that's your proof is that the dude is not that smart to come up with something like that how do you know he wasn't really in pain right first of all he didn't even know. I don't know who gave him the idea, but it wasn't Tara that gave him the idea. He just told him, listen, unfortunately, we're going to have to transfer you. I don't know who gave him the idea to act like he was in pain so we can get back on critical. Who the hell knows that? Nobody really knows except him, except the fact that he told Tara, he's like, thank you, doctor, or whatever. Um, I don't think it was Tara's idea because when she came into the room, she didn't know what was going on. She was wondering if he was telling the truth or not until he gave her the wink. You know what I'm saying? That he was faking it. So he, she didn't even know. But for her to be taking the brunt of this, I would have called that administrator. I'm like, listen, you have zero proof that any of this happened. So I'm going to go in front of the board and told, tell them I'm being penalized for nothing. She don't like me because my because my boyfriend is in the motor is in a motorcycle club. That's the only reason why she don't like me. She probably jealous because she ain't getting none of this motorcycle D. You know what I'm saying? She <laughs> she jealous. You know what I'm saying? She look like one of those types that needs some good dick in her life. That's all I'm trying to say. She's one of them stuck up types that ain't getting enough at home. You know what I'm saying? She not getting any good if any at home. So. That's just what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, I'm glad that Gemma made the point that she made the decision to tell them what happened. And you can see the disgust. You can see the 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 um the angriness. You can see the frustration because they've been fighting over this shit this whole time. I know Jax. And I'm glad in that moment, none of them didn't pop off and be like, why didn't you say this earlier or anything and be mad at Gemma? Because it's really not her fault. You know what I'm saying? And that's the wrong approach when somebody has been sexually assaulted, raped, whatever. That is the wrong approach. You don't never get angry at that person because you get what I'm saying? It didn't happen to you. You don't know what that person is going through. You get what I'm saying? One thing I always encourage people who's been through stuff like that to do is to talk to someone, though. You need to tell someone if that happens to you. You need to tell someone. I don't... You Please do not care if people don't believe you. Tell someone. You get what I'm saying? You need to get that out. You need to get that out. You can't keep that to yourself. That is how pe people resort to suicide and all of this other stuff is because they don't feel safe telling other people about it. You get what I'm saying? And they feel like, trust me. And I know people are still going, in some way, some people are still going to experience telling someone and that person turns around and blame you. That person t turns around and, 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 and make it seem like it doesn't, it's not a big deal and stuff like that. You're going to go through all of that. Do not stop trying to tell people. Somebody will help you through it. Somebody will help you through it. And I know it, you, you don't always have the access and all of that stuff, but I feel like telling people is the best thing your therapy whatever the situation is if you can't afford therapy there's all sorts of there's so many movements out there not only movements but just um places that you know cater to that stuff look it up get help it's not good to just sit on that by yourself alone right 
that's my advice on that situation. And I'm glad that Gemma decided to tell somebody because that's what Tara was encouraging her to do. And she refused to go see, see a therapist or whatever the situation is. It's good to, to, just to talk to someone. It doesn't have to be a group. It, you know, just someone. Tell someone about it. You know what I mean? Um, and if one person don't believe you, tell somebody else. Tell somebody else, man. Tell somebody else. Get it off your chest. Get it off your head. Somebody will empathize at some point. Everybody is not monsters. Um, that's just what I believe. So when it comes down to this this charter, man, um, I would have been very sad if, if Jax left. I'm glad that he picked, picked his patch back up. And, you know, he's a VP again, in my opinion. I don't know if they're going to have to vote him back in. I don't know what is going to be the situation here. I don't know if they're going to end up telling the rest of the people. Um, but I am going to be doing two more episodes tonight. So I'll know by the end of the night. But these are for you today. So see you guys on Thursday. Anyways, leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I will catch you guys later, man. One, definitely one of the best acted moments in the history of Sons of Anarchy so far. So... I really do enjoy season two, episode 10, I think is the best episode of Sons of Anarchy so far. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all and I will catch you guys on Thursday. Peace.